Number two is you're meeting and letting the wrong types of men into your life and into your world. (laughs) And so you, you need to find out what a man is looking for before you end up hooking up with him. Right. There's there's some woman in the community the other day who was asking about this where she was like, oh, there's this, you know, there's this guy and he said that he didn't want something exclusive. And I said that I did. And we'd been kind of hooking up with each other already. And now I'm kind of pushing him away. But now he's coming back and telling me that he misses me. What you know, should I should I ever bring it up again? And it's like, <laughs> You know, you wouldn't even be asking that if you hadn't hooked up with them already, right? Because you're you're emotionally involved, you're physically involved, you're involved from a time standpoint, an energy standpoint. And so you want to get to the bottom of what's going on sooner rather than later. I mean, you don't want to come off as like, you know, some women, they go on dates and they're just screening, right? And that doesn't work very well either if you go on a date and it's like, you know, interview questions the entire time because you're just you're just trying to find out as quickly as humanly possible whether this guy is the type of guy that you want or not because what ends up happening is he he's not invested in you at all. He's not really that interested. He's not connecting with you on any other level other than she's attractive and she's kind of boring because all she wants to talk about are these interview questions to kind of screen me out. And guys know that you're doing that. They know that you're kind of trying to screen them out. And those dates are the worst because they're so boring and they're just like, it's it's kind of painful. It's like painful dating. If you want to go on painful dates, just do that. I, I, obviously you want to do, you want to figure out what he's looking for quickly, but you want to do it fun in a fun way in a playful way. You want to get to know each other. You don't want to bring it out in the very first thing and it's all you talk about and you're just screening each other. You want to have fun and enjoy your time together and enjoy your date and talk about things and have a good time while you figure all this stuff out. And so you, you want to do what the, what I talk about in some of the other live streams that I've done where we talk about being playful and having fun and using verbal banter and all that kind of stuff because that's what makes dating a lot of fun. And another thing to consider with this one is your patterns, right? A lot of women have kind of these patterns where they, they're really, really attracted to guys that just want to hook up. And so if you're just like that, if you're just attracted, super attracted to dudes that just want to hook up, what you might want to consider is that whenever you're super attracted to a guy, that might be a big red flag, (laughs) right? It's a big red flag for yourself to look at it and say, okay, I have this pattern where I only am really attracted to guys who aren't good for me, right? So maybe what you need to do is you need to break that pattern and you need to start trying different things. So if you're going on certain dating websites and you are getting the same thing over and over and over again, you should try different dating websites or you should try going out and meeting guys in the real world, which I am a huge fan of. I think that's the best place to go and do this. And you know, just do, do try going out with guys you wouldn't normally go out with. You know, obviously you need to be attracted to them. Obviously, you know, all those things. However, just try doing different things. Just break the monotony up. Try different things that you wouldn't normally do so that you get different results. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and you're like, well, why, you know, every guy is just a a player or whatever, all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, maybe you should try something different if you want to do something different. Because like I said earlier, most men are looking for something real. They just don't believe that they're going to find it. (laughs) So, So do something different. Try new areas to go and date, break your normal patterns, try doing something different.